Lesson 22 is on constant rates revisited. Revisiting means we've spent a lot of time there before in seventh grade. Um, the word constant we should be pretty familiar with. Um, we spent a lot of time in seventh grade figuring out what the constant is. Now in eighth grade, actually in seventh grade too, we know that it can go by other names such as like unit rate, how we refer to it now, slope, um, maybe another one's rate of change. Um, but we're going to come back to this idea of being a constant. Um, when we graph straight lines, they're constant because they're increasing by the same or decreasing by the same amount every time. Okay, so we're revisiting our work on constant rate. So Peter paints a wall at a constant rate of, so that constant rate, okay, I'm thinking this should be linear, two square feet per minute, two, two square feet per one minute. He paints an area y square feet after x minutes. Now notice part A here says express the situation as a linear equation in two variables. So I want you to think back earlier on when we were writing equations in two variables. Take your rate, 2 square feet per 1 minute, and then match that up with y over x, y square feet in x minutes. And then we use cross products and we write our equation. So I can go 1 times y equals 2 times x. Okay? Or we can just write it as y equals 2x, okay? So it's pretty easy, okay? Don't overthink it. We're revisiting things and using the information we know now. Now we know about slope and different ways to graph because it says here, sketch the graph of linear equation. Remember, we have an easy way to graph. y equals mx plus b. So if we put y equals 2x, I still need a b. So what can I add on that's not going to change 2x? zero. Okay, so remember this is our slope right here and I'm going to write it as 2 over 1 because rise over run and the zero, whatever's being added on, is my y-intercept. So remember our rules, we start the y-intercept, plot it, and then we apply our slope from that point. Now be careful, do not go 1, 2 because I'm actually going up 4 if I do that. Okay, look at your scale here. We have our x-axis here, which is time in minutes. Now that's going by ones, one, two, three, four. But our area in square feet, that's going up by twos. Two, four, six. So when our slope is rise two, I have to just rise two, one, two. But then I run one all the way over here to one. Rise two, which is one block, run one. Rise two, run one. We can keep doing it over and over and over. But instead of doing that, we can draw a line through it. Okay, so now we have this line that represents all the, that shows all the solutions to how much Peter can paint. You know, at four minutes, he's painting eight square feet. At five minutes, he's painting 10 square feet. So our equation here represents that, and so does our graph. Now it says we can use either to determine the total area paints after eight minutes, one and a half hours, two hours, and it says note that the units are in minutes and hours. So I am going to write my equation, y equals two times x, because I don't think our graph's gonna be big enough to get all of them off there. I'm gonna remember that y stands for the square feet and x stands for the minutes. Okay, how do I know that? Well, it told me, and that's what I how I matched it up. So, if x is eight minutes, then I'm gonna plug eight in for x, and I'm gonna get y, the number of square feet, is gonna be equal to two times my x, which is eight. So it's 16 square feet, I'm sorry, you can paint 16 square feet in eight minutes. Okay, that's the power of this equation. Okay, now I can figure out different um, values based on the equation. Oh, how about one and a half hours? What if x equals one and a half hours? Now remember, 
This X here represents minutes. Okay, not a huge deal. We just have to change one and a half hours into minutes. Well, one hour is 60 minutes. Half an hour is 30 minutes. So that's going to be a total of 90 minutes. So now I'm just going to say Y equals 2 times however many minutes, 90. And we get 2 times 90 is 180. Y, remember, represents our square feet. So in an hour and a half, Peters can get done 180 square feet. How about two hours? So if X is equal to two hours, well, that's 60 and 60. That's going to be 120 minutes. So take my equation, the number of square feet equals two times the number of minutes, and we get our square feet of 240. So as we kick off lesson 22 here about constant rates revisited, don't overthink what we're doing. We have spent a lot of time um, in the past couple of years working on the idea of being constant, of having you know what the unit rate is. And lately we've been really focusing on graphing these and the different ways to graph them. This line represents all the pairings of minutes and square feet um, that go together. Okay, this equation represents that as well. So there's a lot of different ways we can represent the same amount of the same information.